Ah, ah, okay. Yeah, thank you very much for inviting me uh, to the, this kind of very great event. I'm very honored to be here. Okay, today I'd like to explain the uh, Japanese situation on the 5G deployment. And also, uh, it's a time to consider the, for the future, future of the 5G, like a 5G evolution, even for the 6G. So I will touch on that uh, the, before close of my presentation. Okay, so uh, this is a schedule for the, our 5G commercial launch. And uh, as you may know, the, we had a very big event last year, uh, Rugby World Cup game. That was so successful, exciting game. And uh, we, at the time of the uh, start of the Rugby World Cup game, uh, September 20, uh, we started the 5G brief services. Uh, and uh, we provided uh, some kind of the services, interesting services, services I will explain later. And also, uh, of course, uh, this year, we will have a more exciting event, Tokyo Olympic Paralympic game. And uh, of course, before that, we need to, have to, uh, provide our 5G commercial services. Actually, uh, we uh, plan to launch our 5G commercial services from spring uh, this year. Uh, exact date was not decided yet, but uh, as soon as possible, we plan to deploy the 5G commercial services. And uh, toward the 5G commercial services, we, well, we have been uh, very, very active to develop the 5G system and also our 5G use cases. And uh, we, uh, we are active in the, uh, several projects, so-called 5G trial site and the 5G open pattern program and so on. I will explain. And uh, this is 5G pre-commercial services. And uh, that was uh, uh, started from the September 20th uh, last year. And uh, we provided uh, our very interesting services in the stadium of the 5G uh, Rugby World Cup game. And also uh, several major cities, we provided the 5G uh, services, pre-services already. And uh, not only for the commercial service, uh, consumer services, but also the enterprise and uh, uh, B2B uh, services. And uh, our, our colleagues are working so hard to create uh, new services for the enterprise uh, area. Yes. And this is uh, one of the, our pre-services events and uh, this kind of the public live viewing. Uh, and uh, also uh, we are providing the uh, much angle uh, services, much angle uh, video services in these uh, facilities. This is an opening event on the Rugby World Cup game. And uh, yeah, that was so exciting and uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> so excited. So excited. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, so many people enjoyed this thing. I think that this kind of public viewing, live viewing, is one of the very interesting services for the future. And uh, we uh, had uh, this kind of event, like this kind of nice facilities, but uh, people want to enjoy the public viewing, viewing everywhere. Yeah. Uh, this is a uh, service terminal. Uh, thank you very much, LC Electrics. And uh, much angle viewing, and uh, we enjoy the any angle. Yes, uh, to see. Yes. So public viewing, in any case, that could be a very interesting subject. In the future, public viewing everywhere. <laughs> That could be uh, one of the nice uh, consumer services. Okay, so uh, this is uh, terminals, uh, mobile terminals, and uh, provided for the 5G pre services They're from Sony, Samsung, LZ, and the Sharp. The Sharp terminal is a CP type, and uh, for, especially for the enterprise services, the, this kind of CP type or uh, small uh, module it would be a very, very useful, uh, not, not the smartphone type. So uh, we should better to consider that this kind of data terminal, CP type or uh, data module terminal, that would be very essential. And the spectrum bands. And uh, we, in Japan, the three bands are located for the 5G, for initial 5G. 3.7, this is, uh, oh, okay. Uh, 3.7 and 4.5 and 28 gigahertz bands, three bands. For the sub six giga, 3.7 and 4.5, Spectrum band width is 100 megahertz, spectrum band width, and the 28 gigahertz, uh, 400 megahertz. So uh, very wider, a wide spectrum band has already allocated. 
not, on, not the auction, but the beauty contest. Very nice for operator point of view. And uh, we deployed uh, this kind of three bands uh, already, even for the 5G free services, yes. And the 28, I know that the, uh, we have uh, some difficulty in terms of the propagation loss, but uh, we are deploying a uh, 28 gigahertz band already, and uh, maybe uh, we can use 28 gigahertz band case-by-case uh, -case basis, for, especially for the, some kind of the stadium solutions, like uh, so, so big uh, traffic demands and a lot of small space, that, that should be okay for the 28. But the larger coverage use cases, maybe sub six giga should be used, yes. Okay. And uh, also, uh, uh, we started, we launched, has, al has already launched the uh, 5G pre-services, but uh, again, we plan to deploy the 5G commercial services from the spring this year. And uh, we have already declared formally that the uh, plan we plan to investment for 5G infrastructure uh, build out, uh, one trillion Japanese yen. Yes, we are aggressive to expand the 5G coverage in Japan. And also, uh, we have already announced that uh, yeah, we currently deploy the 3G, 4G, and now 5G. And uh, we will terminate the 3G services in uh, 2026, uh, March, yes to reduce the uh, cost for the network deployments. Yeah. But still, the many of the terminals, 3G terminals are uh, uh, using in the actual market, especially for the uh, old people, they don't like to change the terminal. <laughs> so uh, we have uh, some difficulty to promote the 4G terminals, but uh, we, uh, uh, we have uh, some mm, activities to promote the 4G terminals, even for the 5G terminals to the old people. Yes, smartphone type, yes. So, uh, so that uh, maybe uh, uh, in short term, we can reduce the numbers of the 3G terminal, active 3G terminal in the market. And uh, this is one of the, our great activities to create the new services, 5G services, 5G open partner program. We started the, this kind of activities from the two, February 2018, and uh, we invited uh, uh, partners from the variety of the industries. And uh, yeah, now over 3,000 partners joined in our program from the variety of the industries. And uh, through the, this project, we uh, provide uh, information on the 5G uh, developments and the performance. And also, uh, we have a many chance, opportunity, create a new opportunity to discuss and to create the new services together with uh, those kind of partners. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, a ratio of the uh, participation uh, from the wide variety of the industries. As you can see, the bar many a variety of the industry people joined. It means that, um, yes, recently, uh, all of the industry has a strong interest in the 5G they really want to create a new services through the 5G, but they don't know 5G very well still. So we need to explain the what 5G and what kind of performance can be achieved and what kind of services can be created uh, together with us and also uh, some kind of combination of the multiple industries. Yes. Interesting points are Yeah, especially local governments, they are 7%. Especially one of the very uh, big requirements, uh, use case uh, required, uh, local revitalization. We have uh, serious issues on the uh, the, the, the local, local issues. The big differences in terms of the uh, between the urban area and the rural area in terms of the culture and uh, uh, entertainment and uh, information and many things. So uh, local government really need to uh, have a good solutions uh, by the 5G to solve the issues in the local area. We are very aggressive to uh, provide a nice services for the to to solve that those kind of issues in the local area. And also uh, open innovation cloud. The, even for now, the many kind of the uh, cloud services are provided. 
Uh, even for the 5G era, cloud service is very important in terms of the low latency and uh, uh, high capacity uh, services. And uh, we already have a platform of the, this kind of the cloud services. And also uh, we are providing our assets like uh, uh, Docomo's AI and uh, big data. And also our, our partner have a variety of the interesting asset uh, like a drone or uh, VR or something. And uh, if we can combi combine, the, uh, integrate the, our asset on the uh, pro uh, cloud platform, maybe we can provide, we can create the new services uh, very efficiently, yes, and uh, quickly. And uh, using the LTE or 5G uh, network, maybe we can provide a very, very nice services for the consumers and also enterprise. We have already provided, uh, achieved, uh, conducted uh, uh, many trials, use cases, more than 200, oops, yes, variety of the uh, use cases like this, and uh, remote control or something, and uh, education, uh, healthcare, healthy, and so on. And uh, I would like to explain some of them. And uh, this is a golf, a remote lesson for the golf. And uh, this is a collaboration with the Japan, uh, Professional Golfers Association in Japan, really. And uh, using the 5G, the, the videos taken by camera uh, was transferred to the, our uh, server. And in the server, the swings are analyzed uh, using the AI technologies. And the coach uh, can provide a nice suggestion to the players remotely based on the uh, result of the AI ana analysis. So this kind of the solution uh, will be provided soon. Yes, this will be very good solutions. Actually, golf is a major, one of the major sports in Japan, of course. But uh, recently, uh, numbers of the golf players are decreasing. Marketing is shrinking. Yes, so in order to uh, solve the, that kind of issues, this kind of the very easy lesson schemes are very efficient. And also, uh, this is a 3D VL design solutions. And uh, on the uh, Docomo Open Innovation Cloud, we have a uh, nice uh, applications to design the 3D image. And uh, remotely, multiple people can create the 3D image together so that uh, we can uh, quickly uh, design the 3D image uh, uh, with the colleagues. And uh, yeah, we can provide uh, this kind of solution on our innovation crowd. Of course, we need to provide a, a high data rate and also a low latency to create uh, this kind of the, uh, 3D VL design. And uh, also uh, telemedicine. And we are collaborating with the uh, Tokyo Women's Medical University. Uh, this university providing the excellent uh, scheme, uh, solutions for the uh, surgery and uh, advanced equipment in the, in the uh, surgery room. Yes, uh, the many, of the many kinds of information are integrated and analyzed on the screen. And uh, the doctors, senior doctors, look, uh, watching the such kind of screen and the provider, uh, how, what should we do to the uh, doctors in the uh, uh, operating doctors, so that uh, we can uh, provide nice uh, services uh, to provide uh, efficient surgery schemes. And uh, this is an image of the, uh, that kind of solution. We are calling it Mobile Scott. And uh, this is an uh, image of the, in this, this kind of big car, this kind of the surgery uh, equipment are in installed. And uh, if we can have uh, this kind of car, Maybe we, this can be a, one of the good solutions to solve the issues on the local revitalization. In the local area, the, this kind of the medical services level is a very low. Numbers of the doctors are not so sufficient in the local area. But if we can have a, this kind of solution, we can provide a nice uh, service, medical services uh, by this kind of the, the, uh, big car. And uh, remotely, the senior doctor can support them uh, who are located in the local area. This kind of solution is good for the, not only for the local area, but also disaster case. And uh, yeah, we have uh, many, many disasters in Japan.
typhoon earthquake. So this kind of solution is uh, very efficient. Actually, yeah, we have already developed this kind of big car and for the yeah, a lot of demonstration. And uh, we will uh, install the uh, medical equipment inside this car so that uh, we can provide a good image how to uh, provide uh, this kind of the telemedicine solutions and uh, uh, remote support for the medical services, yes. Okay, so uh, this is a uh, uh, remote control for the construction vehicle. We are providing with Komatsu. We, I provided uh, this uh, videos all over the world so many times. But in any case, the remote control of the construction vehicle, construction machine is very, very essential to, uh, to solve the issues of the lack of the human resources for the construction industry. So uh, this kind of remote control of the construction vehicle is very useful. Yes, operators don't need to go to the construction area. They can work in a very comfortable room like here. Yes, and the remote all of the construction vehicle all over the Japan, yeah, remotely. Okay, so, and also remote control for the robot. And uh, this is the collaboration with Toyota. Toyota developed this kind of very excellent robot. And the uh, robot will be, if be needed for the, some kind of solutions for the uh, disaster case or uh, some kind of accident case uh, where the, the human, should not be there, dangerous area. So, and uh, this robot is very excellent. This robot has a tactile sense. So uh, remote control for the uh, robot tactile is very essential to uh, control very, very uh, accurately. So uh, yes, this, but the uh, tactile sense, use of tactile sense need uh, very, very low latency. So 5G is very efficient, very useful to use for the, this kind of remote control for the robot. And this is a robot for the agriculture, support for the uh, people in the field. And uh, using the, this kind of smartphone, yeah, we can control the robot. And also a robot can uh, provide an image on the field. And then the people, workers, don't need to go there to check the situation. And also uh, this kind of the chemical uh, chemicals, that, that was not so good for the human body. So uh, this robot can treat that. And uh, animals, also very big issues. And the uh, workers, field workers, agriculture. So a uh, robot can take some role to avoid uh, such kind of the damage by the uh, animals. Okay, so uh, yeah, actually uh, we have so many uh, use cases, yes, conducted, and uh, we are very aggressive to realize that those kind of the uh, potential use cases. Some of them has already uh, realized and uh, provided in the real field, but uh, for the future, more use cases can be realized. And uh, now, it's a time to consider, it's a time, to consider the further evolution of the 5G and even for the beyond the 5G, it means the 6G. Especially, uh, it is very important to see, check, oh, it's a time, uh, the real issues in the current 5G. And uh, we need to have a good solution to solve the issues. And the uh, key te technical issues are like this three. Uh, millimeter wave uh, coverage mobility improvement, as you may know, the millimeter wave coverage issues we have, and that, that need to be improved. And the uplink performance enhancement, that's a very, very essential, because most of the use cases now is uh, uh, uplink heavy use cases. So remote control, yes, the very high uh, definition image need to be transferred on the uplink. So uplink need to be uh, improved and the high requirement for the industry use cases. Variety of the industries has, uh, need the very high performance in terms of the data rate and also low density and so on. So we need to uh, provide a nice solutions for that. And uh, especially for the private network use, the, I think that uh, demand for the, this kind of private network is increasing, especially in the 5G era. And uh, some cases, high reliability, uh, high performance, including the reliability, data rate, latency, need to be provided. 
And uh, actually, uh, we have a, some discussion on the so-called local 5G uh, led by the Japanese government, uh, MIC. And uh, new different spectrum band will be allocated for the local 5G business. It is o uh, something like a private network. And uh, we have already started uh, some kind of collaboration for the uh, industry partners, FANAC and uh, Omron, for, especially for the factory use cases. And uh, that is a, uh, one of very interesting topic. And also uh, for the future, and uh, more uh, gorgeous use cases will come. And uh, we need to improve our 5G system in the 5G era and also for the 6G era. Especially uh, for the 6G target, yeah, we need to uh, study on this already. <laughs> Maybe many of you don't want to discuss on the 60 now, <laughs> but uh, it's time to start. We need to start in any case. And uh, further uh, enhancement, drastic enhancement will be needed in the 2030s. So, so uh, I'm really happy to start the discussion in the, with the Malaysian people on the 60 from now, OK? <laughs> Okay, that's my, ah, that is very important information. <laughs> Actually, uh, this week, we have a so-called Dokomo Open House uh, in Tokyo, and uh, we are providing the excellent exhibitions uh, on the 5G, uh, ongoing services and the 5G services, and also potential 6Gs. So uh, if you can come to Japan this week, <laughs> please visit Tokyo, this event. Okay, that's my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.